Enemies halfway to the wind. That's double. And that's a triple. Damn, you're good! Oh, it's a clean sweep. The Great Spartan. Infection. What's up, guys? Craze here with another gameplay for you, and this is Infection. It's the map Backwoods. And again, you know, Infection is definitely not my favorite game, uh, period. But I'm playing with Rapscallion, so it makes it a lot better. Man, when you play with friends online, it just it's just so much better. I, I don't care what you're playing. If you can play uh, with friends, that's a good time. And there's Logan sneaking in. He wants to play. <laughs> He says, yeah, can I join? Uh, no, no, no Logans allowed. Promise, no Logans. And look at my exploring. Yeah, like I said, I'm not good at infection. <laughs> but the maps are incredibly good, man. And one thing I want to say is that the maps are beautiful. I love the way the maps look. Uh, I think it's only going to improve with uh, Halo 6 whenever we get that. And whenever we get some knowledge of it, of course, I'm not expecting anything, anything, hello sneaky person, I'm not expecting anything until E3 this year, and that of course is in June, I believe it's in June 12th, so until then, until then, we're going to have to uh, figure out what to do, uh, Halo is just really in a kind of a dry spot right now, there's not a whole lot going on, unfortunately it's just the way it is. Uh, a lot of uh, the HCS stuff, if you watch HCS, uh, that's an interesting thing to watch. Uh, a lot of uh, pro players, when they do, they just play the game differently. I mean, at least, at least definitely for me, I'm definitely not pro. Not in any way, shape, or form. I am not a pro player. But I still have fun. I still have fun. And there they are. You see? And that's <laughs> generally why I don't care for infection too much. But I do like the maps. The maps are incredibly fun to play on. They're incredibly good looking. And which is why I really wish, I really wish, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. Ha ha ha, craze get you. Ha <laughs> Hey, I gotta take what, uh, what points I can with infection. But what's one of the things I've been saying a lot lately too is that uh, the Forge maps out there are incredibly well done. Incredibly well done, and it just doesn't seem like they're being taken advantage of uh, in the Halo 5 sandbox. They're just not. I think there is like two maps and Slayer and whatever else, and it's like stuff we've had from the beginnings. Like, they don't even switch it up. In Halo 4, they switched it up at least a little bit. I don't know. I really wish I could sit down with 343 and just say, hey, what are you guys doing, man? We need to freshen up these playlists, big time. These playlists are really needing some love. Uh, we don't need a weapons tuning update. I, I didn't really think we needed that. But hey, I guess that's what they felt they needed better. But I would just love a fresh playlist. It's something that uh, they don't really change the weapons around so much, but add more variety, you know? That's what I really want. More variety in the playlist. I mean, that's... Honestly, that's what keeps me playing. It's just like, I don't know what the comes up next. Granted, ew, ew. Oh, I just got killed by an alpha zombie. And now I am one. <laughs> just, like I said, just add some more playlists. Even Infection back in Halo Reach had more variety to it. I don't know. Halo 4 had a ton of variety, had a whole bunch of different uh, Infection game types. One of the ones I did like uh, was, um, I think they called it Plague, and I think it was a modded game. And basically, if you got killed, or you got uh, hit by the infected, you didn't immediately turn. I think you had maybe 30 seconds or so, and if a player could save you, they, all they had to do is stand next to you, and you'd, like, heal you and whatever else, and then they could uh, save you, which was awesome. Uh, and then you could be continue on as a... Uh, human player. I mean, stuff like that. Hello, can I get you? Oh, nope, nope. <laughs> nope, even my teammate didn't get him. Didn't my teammate. But now we know where he's at. Look at that poor guy. And he's done. 
<laughs> but I think that's what I really think needs to happen with Halo 5, at least to breathe some life into it until we get some Halo 6. But who knows when we're getting Halo 6? I mean, honestly, I don't think we're going to get it this year. I think you're going to do a major update to the Master Chief Collection, and that's going to be the game for this year. Uh, I don't know what we're going to get. I personally think Halo Reach is going to be coming, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know. We need something. Halo community needs something uh, to at least keep us going for a little while longer until Halo 6. You know, I've kind of thought about this, man. I think Halo needs a second developer. You know, kind of like Call of Duty did back in the day. I don't know if you guys remember that, but uh, they didn't have three developers. They had two developers, and every year they launched a Call of Duty game. Granted, it wasn't all that innovative or anything else, but I, I did enjoy the fact that uh, you were going to get a game almost every year, and it was a brand new game sort of <laughs> it's call of duty what can you expect well wouldn't that be kind of nice you have a halo game and you have the main halo game main story but then you have the the alternate the the spin-off games where they like launch like odst2 or or something like that just like a spin-off game and for those that like it the battle royale games that's not for me man i'd probably puke if that came up i hate i really don't like the battle royale games uh sorry sorry i just don't i've tried it a couple times and i just end up frustrated and uh that's probably why i don't like warzone this is just so frustrating it's so random uh i just just don't like it i'm i'm sorry if you like it that's awesome but for me nope nope sorry <laughs> sorry i will uh try to stay away from that but if they had a second developer, they could have like the more like the speed boost or the, the not the speed boost, but the advanced mobility Halo title and just like a Halo 5. Oh, and then they could go into a classic title like, a, like, you know, the old school Halo 2, Halo 3 and just have it like that with no abilities, no anything, just, you know, whatever, you know. That's what I think they honestly should do. Then we could get games at least every year and a half. Like one launches in the summer, which whatever, the spin-off game. And then you get the main title. I think that would be at least something. It's a thought. I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. I don't even think they're even considering that. But hey, you never know. I just want some Halo on a regular basis. Something fresh because I tell you, it gets a little rough rough at the two-year mark <laughs> well that's my thoughts guys i hope you enjoyed the video this is crazed i'm out of here comment like and subscribe